In this video, we will learn how to derive the short run cost functions from a Cobb Douglas production function. Let us say we have a production function that is Q is equal to L to the power 1 upon 2 times K to the power 1 upon 2. Q is the output, L is the units of labor, and K is the units of capital. Okay, since uh, you know we are interested in short run, let us say our capital is fixed. Okay. Let us say our capital is fixed and let us say it is uh, 24 units. Okay. Also, we need to, uh, you know, write other things here. Let us say, uh, uh, you know, wage rate, wage rate for the labor is uh, $100. Okay. And rental rate of capital, that means price of capital, let us denote it by R, is equal to $50. Okay, so we need uh, this stuff uh, to derive the short run cost functions for a Cobb Douglas production function. Okay, now uh, let's uh, insert these values here first. Okay, that means our Q will be equal to Q is equal to L to the L to the power one upon two. Okay, times K, which is uh, you know fixed. Let us write it as twenty five raised power one upon two. Okay, this is our standard Cobb Douglas production function, and let us uh, rewrite it. So we have Q is equal to now this is a uh, under root of 25 is 5, so we have 5 L to the power 1 upon 2, and solve it for L. So we can write it like this L to the power 1 upon 2 is equal to Q. Transposing this, it will get divided. So we have 5 here, which gives us L is equal to q upon 5 okay so uh, when i transpose this exponent okay it will get reciprocated so this becomes uh, square so we have q square upon 5 square okay so this comes out to be q square upon 25 okay so we need this very result that is labor is a function of output okay which is uh, q square upon 25 so we need this very thing to derive our different kinds of costs okay let us first calculate the total cost okay now total cost is equal to you know total cost will be equal to the variable cost plus fixed cost Okay, this is the first cost, uh, uh, you know, function that we want to derive. And what is variable cost? Our variable factor is only labor here. And, you know, uh, labor will demand wage. That means our variable cost will be equal to wage rate times units of labor employed. Plus, uh, fixed cost. Fixed cost is simply, uh, you know, a rental rate of capital times units of capital employed which is fixed here and our wage rate is being given let us say it is 100 and l is being we have calculated l is a q square upon 25 okay so this denotes our variable cost plus rental rate of capital is uh, 50 that means price of capital is 50 and units of capital which is fi uh, fixed which is uh, 25 here okay uh, now let us solve it so 25 ones are 25 fours are so we get here 4 q square okay plus uh, 50 into 25 comes out to be 1 to 5 naught okay this is our you know total cost let me write it here so our total cost total cost will be equal to uh, so this is 4 q square 4 q square uh, plus uh, this 1 2 5 naught this is our uh, let me write it here now our second cost will be to find that is variable cost what is variable cost variable cost is this very stuff that means 4 q square third cost will be you know a variable cost then we have fixed cost fixed cost is simply 
this uh, term which is uh, obviously fixed here 1 2 5 0 and fourth cost can be you know fourth kind of cost can be average total cost average total cost is simply our total cost upon q and total cost we calculated it is 4 q square plus 1 2 5 0 upon q solving this our atc which is average total cost will be equal to 4 q square upon q plus 1 2 5 0 upon q which comes out to be so q and q cancelled we are left with 1 q in the numerator plus 1 2 5 0 upon q this is our average total cost okay now next thing is to find out let us say average variable cost this is our fifth cost average variable cost now average variable cost is simply our variable cost upon output and variable cost is 4 q square 4 q square to this we divide q 1 q will get cancelled so we are left with 4 q only as our average variable cost and sixth kind of cost that we can find out is average fixed cost and it is simply fixed cost upon output and our fixed cost is you know 1 2 5 naught upon q so this is our average fi uh, fixed cost and another important cost that we need to calculate is you know the marginal cost and marginal cost is simply the derivative of total cost with respect to output and it simply tells us how much our cost increases when there is one you know additional unit being produced okay and it is simply the derivative of total cost with respect to output so this is our total cost taking the derivative of this function so i can write it like this d upon dq of total cost which is 4 q square plus 1 2 5 0 and when we take the derivative of this derivative of uh, q square is 2 q so if we have q square its derivative is simply 2 q exponent becomes coefficient okay so this 2 comes here and this exponent is subtracted by 1 so this is 2 q okay and we have another 4 here okay so 4 2s are 8 uh, let me write it here 4 into derivative of q square is 2q okay and the derivative of constant is 0 i have explained it in the earlier videos how the derivative of a constant is 0 that means our marginal cost is equal to 8q okay and here you can see one important thing that marginal cost is also equal to the derivative of variable cost okay this is our variable cost you can check it out marginal cost will be here okay marginal cost will also be equal to the derivative of variable cost with respect to output dq so derivative of uh, you know q square is 2q so 4 2s are 8 8q okay and also one thing you can uh, you uh, you know visualize uh, clearly is that our average total cost is equal to average variable cost plus average fixed cost why average total cost what is our average fix uh, average variable cost you can see it is 4q and what is average fixed cost uh, 1250 upon q when you combine these two you can easily see it is equal to this term 